Let's move on to question number 10 from section 2.4. And for the problems on question number 10, we are still factoring, but now we're dealing with problems that have fractions. Now, we still have three terms for uh, the problems in question number 10, so our goal is we want to find two numbers that multiply to the last number, and then those two numbers need to combine to the middle number. So that part of the question still remains the same. We're just dealing with some more difficult numbers. Okay, so let's focus our attention on the last number here, which is positive 3 over 8. Uh, we need two numbers that multiply to 3 over 8, so since we're dealing with a fraction, we need two fractions that multiply to 3 over 8. All right, so let me set up a fraction over here, and let's start by multiplying these two fractions. Uh, the good thing here is uh, I have a 3 on the numerator, so um, I can only think of like one combination where I have two numbers that multiply to 3, and that's going to be 1 and 3. Okay, uh, if I look at the bottom number, uh, I have an 8, so uh, for the 8, I have a few more choices. I have 1 and 8, or I have uh, 2 and 4. So this is where you do need to kind of play around with the numbers until you get the right match. So uh, let me just start off with this 1-8 combination. If I put the 1 over here and 8 here, if I multiply this straight across, 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 8 is 8. So I definitely get 3 over 8. Now the question is, if I add these two numbers, if I add 1 over 1 and 3 over 8, do I get 5 over 4? All right, so let's just quickly verify that. Um, it's probably not going to be uh, 5 over 8, I mean 5 over 4. Um, if I times this by 8 and times that by 8, uh, I can now get 8 over 8. And if I add this, I get 11 over 8. So this definitely does not equal to 5 over 4. So this is where you have to kind of play around the numbers until you get the right match. And um, I can kind of tell that uh, this 1 over 8 combination will probably not work. So let me go ahead and use the second combination, which is 2 and 4. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, use 2 and 4. So the question is, do I put the 2 and 4 like that? Or is it going to be... Or is it going to be like this? All right, so this is where you kind of have to play around with the, the numbers until you get the right, uh, the right, uh, the right one. So let's go ahead and now add the fractions here. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, change this to a uh, uh, to a four, and I'll change that to a two. And if you look at the the top case here, two plus three is going to be five. And uh, if I add fractions, the denominator stays the same. So I do get five over four there. So this match this this combination definitely works when I add the fractions. Okay, so in order to do that, uh, let me just erase all this. Uh, so my numbers are uh, 3 over 4 and 1 half. All right, so if I set my two brackets here, I get x plus 1 half and x plus 3 over 4. And that's the answer for 10a. Okay, let's move on to a letter B now. All right, so for letter B, let's focus our attention on the last number, which is 2 over 9. So I need two fractions that multiply to 2 over 9. Uh, the good news is I have a 2 here, so uh, the only combination that works for 2 is going to be 1 and 2. Now for the 9, I have a few combinations. Uh, I have 1 and 9 or 3 and 3. All right, so just like the previous problem, you do have to kind of work, um, you have to kind of work with the numbers and see which one fits. Uh, since I kind of did some of these questions in advance, I know the 3 and 3 case will work. So let me put the 3 here and the 3 here. Now, if I multiply these two uh, fractions, you know, 1 times 2 is 2, and 3 times 3 is going to be 9. So I definitely get the 2 over the 9. All right, so now let's add them, and let's see what we get here. So 1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 over 3 is 3, which gives me a 1. Now, 1 is good, but I actually need a negative 1, right? So if I want a negative 1, um, what I need to do is I just change these two uh, fractions into negatives. And that will give me the negative 1. Okay. So my fractions that I have are negative 1 third and negative 2 thirds. All right, so two sets of brackets, uh, x minus 1 third and x minus 2 thirds. And that's my answer. Okay, let's move on to letter C. And uh, let's focus our attention on this last fraction here, which is negative one over eight. And let's go ahead and set up uh, some fractions here. All right, I need two numbers that multiply to one. All right, so that's gonna be one and one. And then I need two numbers that multiply to eight. Now for the eight, I have a few combinations. I have one and eight, and I have four and two. 
And remember that uh, there's a minus sign in front too that I need to work with that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in some numbers here. Um, I, I will choose four and two here. So uh, let's put a four here and a two there. Okay. Uh, so if I multiply, if I multiply uh, this across, I mean one times one is a one, four times two is an eight, and now I just need a minus sign on one of the fractions. Okay, let's take a look at the middle number here. The middle number is positive one over four, right? It's positive one over four, so you probably want the minus sign on the smaller fraction, and you probably want the bigger fraction to be positive. Since one over four is smaller, let's put the minus sign over here, and let's put the positive sign over there. Okay, let's go ahead and add these fractions and see what happens. Uh, let's just change this to, this uh, the denominator on this fraction to be a four, so I need to multiply this by two, so two, and that will be a four. And if I add this across, negative one plus two is gonna be one, and four and the fours just remain the same, and uh, one quarter does match the middle term there, so uh, I have the right fractions here. Okay, so let me just erase the colors here. I believe this fraction was one half. And uh, basically the numbers I want are negative a quarter and positive one half. All right, so this would be x minus one over four and x plus one half. And that's it for that fraction question. Okay, let's move on to uh, letter E now. Now letter E, um, basically with these kind of problems you're dealing with some exponent rules now. Uh, we still have three terms, so the main idea is still you've got to find two numbers that multiply to the last number, which is 12, and those two numbers need to combine the middle number, which is uh, 7. So if I did this question kind of normally, like, uh, like, like, in, like in a lot of the previous questions, I guess I would have an x here, an x here, you know, plus 4, and a plus 3, right? 4 times 3 is 12, and 4 plus 3 is 7. However, um, I do have a 2n there, right? So you know, this guy times that guy, if I multiply these together, I need to have an x to the 2n. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to do a side calculation here. If I multiply x by x, that's x squared. All right, but I need a 2n here. So what you need to do here is put an n here and an n there. Okay, so uh, remember, uh, if the bases are the same, you just add the powers. So n plus n is 2n. All right, so how do I modify that into my problem? Well, all you have to do now is just put the n's into the x's. So n here and n there, and that should do it. So x to the power n plus 4 times x to the power n plus 3. All right, so it's about 90% uh, the same problem. You just need to have these extra exponents there. Okay, uh, let's move on to letter F. So same kind of problem, we have this new exponent there, so uh, we need to take that into consideration. Uh, but the main theme, one of the main themes is that you need to find two numbers that multiply the last number, and those two numbers need to combine to the middle term here, which is negative three. So two, two sets of brackets. Uh, two numbers that multiply to two and combine to negative three. Uh, well, that's gonna be uh, negative two and negative one, right? So negative two times negative one is positive two, and negative two minus one is negative three. Um, and in order to kind of finish this problem off, uh, I need a six n, so I know that three n plus three n gives you six n, right? So I need a three n here and a three n there, and that should do it. Okay, let's move on to uh, letter G. Uh, I need two numbers that multiply to negative 12, and those two numbers need to combine to negative one. All right, so two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add to negative one. So I'm thinking negative four and positive three. And uh, you'll notice that I have a 10n. So 10n is the same thing as 5n plus 5n. So I need a 5n here and a 5n there, and that should do it. Okay, let's move on to letter H. Uh, once again, I have a trinomial of three terms. I need two numbers that multiply to 12, and those two numbers need to combine to negative eight. All right, so two numbers that multiply to 12 and add to negative eight, or combine to negative eight. So I'm thinking uh, negative six and negative two. So two negatives, if you multiply them together, you get a positive number, and negative six minus two is negative eight. And I also have a, uh, I also have a six n there. So six n is the same thing as three n plus three n. So I need a three n there and a three n there. Okay, let's move on to the last two problems for question number 10. Okay, two sets of brackets. 
and uh, I need two numbers that multiply to negative 10, and those two numbers need to combine to negative 7. So I'm thinking of negative 5 and negative 2. So negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10, and negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. Okay, uh, there's a few more things going on here. I have a 2n there, so 2n, so that's the same thing as n plus n. So I need an n here and an n there. But I also have a 2m on the back end, right? So that's the same thing as m plus m. So I need to have, um, and there's a y here as well, right? So I need a y to the m and a y to the m. And uh, that should do it. Let me just erase this here. I was just emphasizing there's a y to the 2m, right? So you definitely need a y there and a y there. Okay, and once again, if you multiply y to the m times y to the m, you get y to the 2m, which matches this last term there. Okay, so I think letter I had just one more uh, term, one more kind of expression to have in there, but it's, it's um, still, I think, 80% the same thing as all the previous problems. Okay, finally, let's do letter J, and then we'll finish this homework video guide. So uh, I still have three terms here, so uh, I need two numbers that multiply negative 4, and those two numbers need to combine to, negative, to positive 3. So two numbers that multiply to negative 4, and combine to negative three. Okay, so I'm thinking of positive four and negative one. So four times negative one is negative four, and four minus one is three. Okay, uh, I have an eight n there, so that's the same thing as four n plus four n, so I need a four n here and a four n there. And then on the back end here, I have y to the six m, so six m is the same thing as three m plus three m, and in order to have that y there, I need to have a y here and a 3m, and a y here and a 3m. And that's it. That, that's how you do that last question, and that will conclude this homework video guide.